up guys, GMG here today, starting day with the Grumble anyway, so today is kind of a lineup update, kind of not a lineup update, so I'm going to be showing you guys my team, you guys can see my needs right now, I think I need a wide receiver or tight end, and um, this video I'm probably not going to show you the tight end um, cards that I'm going to look at, but I will show you the receiver um, cards and the uh, other position I need, but yeah, I need a wide receiver, um, you can see, I got James Winston at, as, in as the quarterback, he's pretty solid, so um, that's pretty much a lock there, I'm looking for wide receivers, guys, and um, I have a couple of attributes I want in the wide receiver, of course, I want good catching, I want good route running, good release, and good awareness, you can see Sammy Watkins is a beast at all of them, hey, Red Bay, we couldn't need some help, and um, I'd like some speed, but um, I mean, speed doesn't really matter as long as they're a good receiver, and I, I don't want really anyone under um six foot, because it's, it's just kind of hard to get things done that way. But, um, yeah, so we have Sammy Watkins, we have Jermaine Kirsten at the three, Sammy Watkins is in, as, is in at number one, and Hayward Bay is at the two, just because that's the way it works for me. But, yeah, they're all pretty good cards. We got Hayward Bay because of, purely just because of his height and his speed, but I kind of want to go away from that because I don't really vote him because he's not really a good route runner. I mean, you see our blockers, we're pretty good on the blocking. Darren Sproles um, is, is our running back he, that runs behind the blockers. He actually is the best running back card in the game. If you don't include all the golden tickets and the um, boss cards and the um, ultimate legends, he's better than um, 98 by stats and by play for me because I actually had 98 in Marshall Falk. He's better than 98 in Marshall Falk, 97, um, 97 Marshawn Lynch. He's actually better than 98... I think it's Barry, it's either Barry Sanders or, um, Walter Payne, whichever one is the 98, I think it's Barry Sanders, so by stats he is, so that's kind of why I got him, Jason Morrow was good, I, in the tight end I'm looking for blocking, um, I don't really care for speed, A speed would be good, but, um, pretty much just blocking and of course catching um our we don't really need any blockers unless we want some for overall but for what we do these blockers are perfect we pretty much have a primarily run blocking team um that's what i like to think they're better actually in pass blocking but they're pretty good in both so we have 94 pretty much in every single um blocker have a 93 um but we also have a 98 run blocker and he has poor pass block but that doesn't really matter because we pretty much just run the ball that, that's how good we are i mean that's how we kind of set to do and again i will tell you guys i don't look for overalls i look for production so that's why i'm not going to get rid of my cbs these guys play crazy um antonio cromarty i already told you guys he's the best card in the game best cb um Probably in the game, probably it's, I'd go ahead and say the 94 is better than um 99 Dion and any other golden ticket there is just by play. Parrish Cox is a close second. Um, he's it's just the athleticism, guys. It's crazy. Buster Skyrene, he only plays in the flat, so I, I, I don't know. But for defense, we um we're looking for either a strong safety or LOLB. We don't really care for MLB DTs. My DTs don't really come in because I don't play um the formation where they do come in. But yeah, so we're looking for LLB, wide receiver, and strong safety. We'll look at the strong safeties first, guys. Um, I mean, in a strong safety, I'd like to say I want um, pretty much awareness and zone coverage and play rec the most. Catching it has to be above 60, but let, let's just look at this. So you can see Major Wright is actually better in every single position, we, or every single attribute we want in zone and um, play rec. So... That's not really um, a fair comparison. Anton Bethe, he was a former Colt. He's actually he's pretty close, but um, not quite a major right. He has not even better catching. So, um, yeah, we had Taylor Mace. He is a beast. There's, we might actually pick him up just because I did have him in. He doesn't play based off of his stats. He plays way better. So he might be our pickup. And we have this Troy Polamalu. We're going to look over pretty much every single strong safety, but... Troy Polamalu is right now the closest, so he's number one on our um on our pickup list. So we'll say for right now he is number one. He has better play rec. His zone isn't that much worse, and his catching isn't that bad either. So he's number one for now. Adrian Wilson. Let's look at this. Eh, there's no point to get Adrian Wilson. I know his catching is bad too. So um, it's pretty much the same card we got. That's Ronnie Lott. And Ronnie Lott is the same, so there's really no point to get Ronnie Lott unless I want an overall boost. And we got this, um, I'm not going to put a head of, a headache bow, 
I think it's a headache bow. So um, he actually is somewhat better, but there's really no point because it's not that much better. I think this Eric Berry is better, so let, let's check this out. He's better in zone um, play rec, so I'd say that our, our number one guy right now is Troy Paul Amaru. And of course, Ronnie Light's going to be better, guys. So we have number one, Troy Paul Amaru. I mean, not, not number one. I'm number one, Ronnie Light. Number two, um, um, Paul Amaru. So yeah, Paul Amaru. And Antero Roll is. Is I so I'd say he's number three at yeah, role and his catching is better. So yeah, so for a strong safety, those are our top three. We'll be looking into those. And I, I'm not gonna pick them up exactly today. I'm gonna ask you guys to help me out. Um we'll look over some ninety fours overall. We had him for his height before. He was a good card, but he didn't really intercept much. He was just you know there. Not even to bat down the ball, so he was always just there and then the ball would go straight through him. So this is a good card. I don't think there's any other 94 that really even comes close. We will check this TJ Ward, but I don't even think it's fair. Um, yeah, Major Wright is better. So you guys, you guys see what my team is. We don't go by the overall because we, we go by a specific set of um, attributes and how they play on the field. So that's what I kind of like about what we do because we're always constantly performing. People might think that, hey, I might have a sucky team, but when they play us, they really don't know what to do because um, we're that good. The team is. I, I, I kind of want to say some of the credit goes to me, but this team is fantastic. So i got to give it to that. Let's look at Dion Buck. I call him Buck because he's crazy. Um, He's kind of wild. He's just a hit machine, guys. His name is Buchanan. You guys saw, but yeah. So there's no 94 that really even comes close. There's no point for me to check any other one, but let's go to um wide receiver now. Or do we want to check LOLB? Let's check out LOLBs now. So we're not going to check um the 94 LOLBs. We'll check this Brooks Reed. There's really no point to check any other card. I know it's not. This is a 90 over. Mm, Pernell McPhee is a beast, guys. Um, like, I, I really don't even know what to say. Paul Kruger is not as good. I've checked all these cards before when I did pick up Pernell, so I already know these cards aren't as good. But let's check over right now at the 99 overall LOBs. We have this um, Ryan Kerrigan. Let's look at that. He's a 95 overall, and he's not better in any position. Like, we want good block shattered. Um, we want good power move or finesse move, whichever one they are. And then James Harrison might actually come close. So let's let's look at this in deeper, um, in a deeper way. So you guys can see all that. Let's go over to the all the stats. He has better catching. That's kind of good. That I mean, what if a ball comes out and he is able to pick it up? That's good for us. He has. Uh, Pernell McPhee is better, guys, so there's no point to get that. We will check, um, Terrell Suggs and Dante Flower, but I don't think Dante Flower really comes close. He's more of a, of a zone guy, and we don't play zone with our LLBs. But, yeah, so T-Sizzle, um, let's look at T-Sizzle a little bit closer, guys. So, he's pretty much... Right now, as far as I can see, the same card as Pernell McPhee, and actually a little bit better. Just I mean, and a lot cheaper too. So yeah. So if you're here, I guess it's another tip in a way. You don't have to go for the high overalls, guys. Look at their stats closely and um, see how they perform. I mean, Pernell McPhee. There's no explanation. He's a 92 overall, and he has stats for like a 96, so just look at that, guys, if you guys are looking for players. Don't spend your money on crazy cards. Justin Houston is a beast, though, so number one right now on our pickup board for LLB is Justin Houston. 99 power move, guys, in that block shed, that's crazy. Hit power, man, so we, we might have to pick up Justin Houston. Let's check out this Connor Barwin. Actually, you know what? We'll go to Dante Fowler first. Fowler, not Fowler. He's an okay card for zone. Um, his catching's fantastic, but for blitzing, I don't really want him right now. He has a pretty good finesse move, but that block shed isn't really comparable. So we're not going to look at that. So he's off the board. Let's check this Connor Barwin. Um, Connor Barman, 97 overall. He's a zone D guy, and it looks like 
as of right now, he's a little bit better in that catching. So, that guy, that tackle is fantastic. Power move is fantastic. So, um, it's for right now, it's between Connor Barwin and, um, Justin Houston. I'm going to say Justin Houston is number one, though, right now, just because I know he plays like a beast. Um, Brooks is a zone guy, so we don't want to check him out. We got this Von Miller, though. I know for a fact Von Miller is a beast. Um, yeah, there's no, I don't know why I'm checking this card, so we'll just say Von Miller is number three on the board. 100 finesse move. That speaks for itself, guys. Um, so yeah, Von Miller is number three on the list, just because Justin Houston is be is a beast. Actually, we'll move him to number two. So it goes Justin Houston, Von Miller, then we got um Connor Barman. Let's see if James Harrison takes over Connor Barman's spot. He has pretty good stats all around. I like that power move with the block shed. It's pretty crazy. Um, but I'd have to say, actually, Connor Barman is better. Let's take this Julius Peppers. He is 6'7", so that is a plus. You can't really, well, I guess he'll be rushing, but you, once he puts his arms up, you're pretty much gone. It's going to be a batter down ball, and if he has good catching, which he does, that might be an interception taken back for a TD. Let's look at all these attributes. They're, they're... Pretty good attributes. I like this card a lot. So, Julius Peppers or Connor Barwin. I'm going to have to... Uh, ooh, this one's hard. We'll, we'll say J Connor Barwin by the stats is better. So, we'll say Connor Barwin. So, number one, Justin Houston. Von Miller, then Connor Barwin. So, of course, these guys are better. So, there's really no point to check these ones. Um... Yeah, so we'll, we'll get out of that. Now we'll go to wide receivers. Wide receivers. Let's go. So we already told you guys what we want for wide receivers. And tell me what position I'm going to get. What you guys want me to get first. So you guys want me to get an LOLB first, tight end first, um, or wide receiver. I'm not going to get anything, anything else whatsoever. So those are the only ones. So let's check this Devontae Parker. We told you guys what we want. And he's actually, this is a, he's 6'3", too, so with that speed, that's going to be crazy. Let's check it. He's not as good as Sammy Watkins in some areas, but in some areas, he's better. His release is better. Um, Catch is better. This actually isn't a bad card. So, um, Devontae Parker, for now, it's the first card to be checked, and he's better. We don't want to look at Jordy Nelson. We don't care for Emmanuel Sanders. We don't care for Greg Jennings. We want taller guys. Um, There's really no... I, I don't know, but... I had Emmanuel Sanders before. He was alright, but let's look at some different cards. Let's check this Kevin White. He is up for 50... Under 70k. I usually see him at 70k. But his... Stats are complete junk, to be 100% honest with you. Just his height and his speed are the only good things. Let's check this Percy Harvin. Let's compare. Percy Harvin is 5'11". It's a little bit under 6 foot, but we'll do. So, he's actually better in pretty much everything compared to Sammy Watkins. He is 2 inches shorter, though. So, that is a not good thing. But his speed is better, and everything else is so i say I'd put him at the number one. I will put Percy Harvin at the number one. Never mind, actually, because this Mike Wallace has 99 speed, and he's better in every position, I mean, every attribute that we do want, except for that release, and that's not really a big deal because it's not that much under, so... Yeah, so Mike Wallace is our number one guy for receiver. Then we'll say Percy Harvin, then Devontae Parker. And, um, yeah, we're going to check a couple more. So I, I like that Mike Wallace a lot. Let's check a taller wide right receiver now. Let's check Chris Matthews. And Chris Matthews, he will be slower, but I'm not too worried about that because his stats are crazy and his height makes up for it. So... Yeah, that he's actually pretty much better in just about everything. That's a crazy card, guys. 
So actually, we'll just take Devontae Parker out of there and put um. Did I say about yeah? We'll put we'll put Mike Wallace in at one and um Chris Matthews in at the two, Percy Harvin in at the three. So tell me guys what I what you guys think I should get, whether it be a wide receiver and or L O L B or um strong safety, and tell me which of the top three guys I told you um which ones are I should get. So yeah, this is pretty much gonna be the end of the video, guys. Um. For a wide receiver, you guys just saw LB. Just a reminder, we got Justin Houston, Connor Barwin, and Julius Peppers, I do believe. Um, you guys saw wide receivers. Strong safety. We have to wait a little bit to get some money. But, yeah, this is going to be in the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Chuck the deuce. And until next time, God bless, and I am out.